Greetings. If you are watching this video, it's because you're considering buying this bold and design uh, lightning uh, cable. As is often the case, I received this product free for the purposes of review, but despite that, I'll be completely candid about it because I shop on Amazon the same way you do, and I certainly don't want unpleasant surprises showing up in the mail. So this review will consist of two parts. First, we'll take it, take this cable right out of the box and see if it works as both a charging cable and as a data sync cable against this iPad Air 2. So first of all, okay, so bring a pan down here. This is it right off the bat. I've got no charging. My iPad is at 47%. And ah, okay, here it is. That was a little unusual. But okay, so now you see it is charging. I'm not sure what caused that to momentarily not work, but okay, so now it's charging. Let's, uh, okay, so we're proving that it can charge. Let's do a data sync and see what happens. And here we are. Here's iTunes, and here's the internal storage. So, um, so, so far, um, works fine for uh, charging, though a little bit spotty. That it, Took a second to kick on, and um, okay for data sync. So, so that was the first part, but that's not the way cords work. Um, kids get a hold of cords. Kids try to stretch cords, and they get stuck on the door, and the dog chews on them a little bit. And there's just all sorts of general abuse that happens with the cords. So let's put this cord through a little bit of torment and see what happens. And you can see I'm kind of. Because this is what kids do, right? They they don't respect the core, and they mess with it like this, and they just generally abuse the crap out of them. So this is probably the equivalent of a couple of weeks of abuse in a, in a typical household. Now this is the most common thing I see: is that you just get so sad looking at kids, and they've got they've got the the cord like this, and then they wonder why it doesn't work the next day. Well, let's see how well this would stand up. Give it a good stretch. I'm not nearly strong enough to break it. But, okay. So there's a few weeks worth of wear and tear on it. Let's see if it still does its job. Hey, it's doing something. It's charging. Okay. So as you can see in the, little, in the, in the amp meter there, it still knows how to charge. So that's a good sign. And let's see how it does with data sync. And here we are. Here's my internal storage. So, huh? It's not. Uh, it's not very often that a, that a simple rubber plug like this lasts through that test. Maybe I'm getting soft to my old age, but um, huh, I guess it works. Let's give it another go, just to be cool. Another couple weeks worth of Junior doing his thing. Hard to get a good grip on these little tiny connectors. Now let's see if you still charge, Mr. Cable. All right. Now let's see. All right. We still have charge. Okay. Well, like I said, it's it's not very often that a simple rubber cable survives that test, but. Uh, I guess I guess it's just lucky that way. Um, so, all right, I'd say that's a pass. So, good job. And uh, so, from a review standpoint, I hope that was helpful. Um, if not, please let me know what it is you'd like me to test or what torment you'd like me to put these cables through next time. Um, and until next time, happy shopping.